No, we don't introduce ourselves. Stop it. No, we don't have to. It's Tony. <laughs> Seriously, can't stop yourself. Well, so this is our first time with the whole podcast not being about like a subject. Yes. So it's interesting. Um, so it's interesting. We're gonna figure out how things work. Oh, all right, all right. All right. So no, no. Um, it's it's interesting. Let's. It yeah, besides the air quotes, on we're that. we're interesting. We are very in interesting. air quotes. <laughs> most likely, we're white, which makes us automatically interesting. Oh, according okay. to the Kardashians. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't agree with that. Don't they only fuck black guys? <laughs> Probably. <agree>. Yeah. <laughs> so clearly, they find black guys interesting. No, no, they find black guys interesting. That's why women find the Kardashians interesting. Is because oh, they're white. Women. They're white. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They fuck black guys. It's because they're white. So if I fucked black, black guys, guys, I'd be interested. I would very much find that interesting. Nice. Okay. Can you like? Can you not say that you wouldn't find that interesting if Remy just started fucking a black guy? I would probably be pretty interested in that. I, I just bring yeah. what's black going, guy. What's going on over there? Yeah, this is, <laughs> I mean, I'd definitely drop everything. Hey, what's to, up? This is listen to that conversation. <laughs> <but>. I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't give nice. a fuck about you flack. What? Flacking. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about you flacking. <laughs> I don't feel like a fucking fuck about you flacking. I gave up on that that sentence. That's fine. That's fine. Through. Flacka, oh. the uh, oh, I got I got I got the promotion. action of having sex with a black man. Ooh, that's fucking a, a black man. I was trying to tell people how I got a fucking promotion, but nobody mm-hmm. cared. You got a you promotion? Got a yeah, I yeah, got a pay bum. I don't care. That's not a promotion. That's just a pay bum. Well, it's, do you get a new title? No, you're right. Did you get a title to someone else's car? Did you race for pinks? I mean, I stole a car. Oh, okay, that's fun. That I race right. for the pink every night. <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 I race home. <laughs> I got two twenty-five extra on, on the hour. Oh, that's nice. That's a really that's awesome substantial. race. Yeah. Like, I don't believe you at all. I don't feel like you race for pink at all. I don't think you race. Like, you just come <laughs> home, you're like, pink! <laughs> you're not a racist like the rest of us. <laughs> I'm no, just but really every- excited about it, so I'm kind of running when I no, do it. No, but like, okay, okay. So half jogging, half jogging. So you guys remember how I used to like be obsessed with the whole debating thing? Yeah, masturbating. Well, like master debate. Obsessed with the debating. Thing. Okay, so I, I don't debate anymore. <laughs> I used to ar- though. Arguing in general. Have you no, seen it was on that websites. Death battle. No, it's a YouTube screw channel. Attack. Screw attack. Oh, oh okay. Goku yeah. versus Superman. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're about. So I don't think that's a debate. No, it, it is. is. Well, that's, what happened was no, no, basically that's not Superman. Totally. Th- those videos were going out right. So then the, all these people on Facebook were like, "Hey, we should kind of do that on our own. We'll just get like this big group of people and we'll talk about who would win in a fight between a couple people and we'll just keep throwing out facts and giving feats and seeing who we decide would win." And Bran was doing that all the time. Uh, like literally it nonstop would be on his phone bad. on Facebook. And he literally, like, wrote, like, a ten-page essay on Link. <laughs> just ten. It wasn't ten. It was more. <laughs> it started out as ten. I was really hoping you were going to be like, ten, it wasn't that much. It, but you went, the, you, went the, no, you went the wrong way. It was, it was bad. Like, yeah. So let's say a twenty-page essay. Less than that, more than Link that. from The Legend of Zelda just, like, Feats and like stats and I even went out of my way to have people calculate how badass his sword strike would be. Calculate. Calculate, yeah. You know, how much force he would produce if he were to hit you with his sword. Calculate. Basically it's <laughs> this fake physics that they pull out of their asses where they're like, hey, I mean, Mario lives in inside of a black hole, so apparently he's the strongest person in the fucking universe. I mean, again, that that I mean, you word that weirdly. He's well, just, no, it is the type of thing where Mario, but yeah, he Mario has, Galaxy or something jumped between right. planets. Or yeah, something, exactly. Where you'd be like, oh, well, that's a power he has now. Well, that's something that we would take into consideration. Like uh, the planets, for instance, were much smaller. Right. Um, Obviously. You know. <laughs> well, that makes them super dense because if you can have gravitational pull at that right. size, then yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was pretty bad for a while. You're fucking super dense. I am. <laughs> Fucking got him. <laughs> wow. That was, that was rough. Why did I start talking about this? I don't know. All right. So should we get into actual drunk stories? Sure. Um, okay. Cool. <laughs> so we, Tony, you're, you're up to bat. This is your podcast. This oh. is your specialty. There's just like so many places to start. I feel like every time I drink, I do something awesome. just incredibly do, stupid. Okay. 
Uh, I say start with burpees. Burpees. Yeah, the, into, the uh, one I know of. Yeah, we oh, all went to. Oh, no, that involves a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, it's perfect. Segway. <laughs> His name was Segway? <laughs> I never, from a deep tribe in Africa. <laughs> I never learned his name. I just wanted to fight him. Maybe jerk him off. Not sure which. It was fight. <laughs> it was strictly fight. It was, it was fight until Blake convinced me to jerk him off. Did that I'm, come up? Was that I a think thing? that was how it started, honestly. I thought it was... I thought you said I should fight him. Somebody said I should okay, fight him. Okay, okay. For context... Tell it from the beginning. <laughs> Tannen and I went to a bar. We and met we, you there. Yeah. Yes. And you we guys met you. us there. And we just started drinking, and I drank probably more than I should have, and this... Isn't that always? Isn't that always how that goes for you? I I want to say no. Oh, okay, okay. Continue, please. But I can't say no. No, no, please go on. <laughs> <laughs> and that's... I, it gets kind of hazy at this point, but I, if I remember correctly, there was black guy... And somebody he was big. He was very he was muscular. Very big. Yeah. And somebody was like, "You should fight him." I believe you said you wanted to fight somebody. You were in the mood to fight, and Blake said, "Fight that guy." He just pointed <laughs> at the biggest blackest guy I could find. <laughs> and Tony and I was said, like, "Yes, okay." And then I was gonna go do it, and then it somehow came up that the best. I think we were talking about. No, no, no. I held, I had to hold you back. Yeah, 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 and I was like, "Well, if you just want to win, then just go up there and start jerking him off. You yeah. can fight back if exactly. you're jerking him yeah. off." Yeah, and then I was gonna go do that, and then I stopped you <laughs> yet again, and I told you, uh, "Okay, I'll let you fight him if you go out and do a hundred burpees, which is push-up jumping jacks." And Tony agreed. He said, okay. <laughs> but then he said, listen, okay, you pay for my food. I'll go out there and get started. I gave him my card. Just for... Okay, okay yeah, that's that's where we need the clarity. I Okay, so I said, go... No, you're not going to go out and search your burpees, because I'll go out there, you'll be like, 99, 100. Let's go fight the black guy. <laughs> and Tony was like, yeah, that's probably what I would do. And then he went off. <laughs> and he's like, go off do it. <laughs> And then some guy, and, and then, then the guy I started next to, to me. do it, and then some guy was like, "Do you guys do cross?" No, 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 no. We, you, we didn't. He wasn't outside. He was next to me, paying at the bar. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, but I assume he was, heard us talking about burpees, and so he's like, "Do you guys do CrossFit or something?" <laughs> and I was like, "CrossFit? No, <laughs> no, we don't. No, we're trying to prevent him from fighting a black guy." <laughs> and then understand our situation, sir. <laughs> Rainy comes outside, and you guys are trying to stop me from taking my shoes off. And you were trying in to the get fountain. in the fountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> trying to swim in the fountain. And uh, I believe that's how the night ended. I don't think yeah, there was we anything went, after that. Yeah, we that. went home after that. Yeah. yeah. I put my shoes back on and was mad that I didn't get to do anything stupid. Just <laughs> talk about stupid things that I may do. <laughs> well, tell us about some stupid things that you have done. Oh, uh, well, the stupidest, I think, thing that I've ever done is on my birthday... We were all, like, my friends took me out, and I got smashed. I drank a full pitcher of beer, took three apple pie moonshine shots, and then I'm hammered at that point, and we're playing pool, and I look over, and there's a pitcher of beer. Don't know whose pitcher of beer it is. I have no idea how it got there, but I just remember thinking, I should drink that. And then I blacked out, and the next thing I knew, we were walking to another party, and I was just talking to some random person. I have no idea who they were, and they just walked... Guy or girl? Uh, it was a guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was, was it I, I can't remember. <laughs> I know okay. it was one of my girlfriend at the time. It was her friend. So he walked me to the party, mm. and I walk into the basement of the party where my girlfriend is. I'm going to meet her, I'm later told. <laughs> I had no idea why we were going to this party. And nice. she runs up to me and just starts kissing me, like a lot, because she's really drunk. And I kiss her back for a, a solid minute or two, and then she pulls back and I go, that was great, but my girlfriend's here and I need to go <laughs> <laughs> And I just walked away. And she had to come be like, hey, that was me, jackass. And do you do, how many women do you do this with? <laughs> That was the question I got the next day, and I was like, none. I'm pretty sure none. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was that was the most trouble I've ever been in for doing something while drunk, like, because I woke up the next day, and it was not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. 
So I'm gonna let you question. finish. I can't help but notice that we didn't already know that story. Yeah. And at the beginning of this story, you said you were out with all your friends. So what the fuck does that make us? <laughs> you, they're my friends from up at school. I, I think it's clear to say that he hates us for yeah, how that's what it is. How I mean, mean we are to him relentlessly. I mean, he knows that I factually hate him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> why you hang out with us. <laughs> I, I ask myself like that every time I come over. What's the answer, buddy? We're friends. Oh, Tony. okay. We Tony, are we're friends. Oh, they're friends. Okay. Yeah. Tony? Yeah. <laughs> no, Them I heard too. you the first sixteen times. <laughs> Them too. That, is that a way to talk to your friend? Friend. <laughs> Blake, what's the stupidest thing you've done while you were drunk? No, no, no. I'm not a real big drinker. <laughs> I drink socially mostly. So yeah. Rainbow well, well, try to you try well, to like, convince a guy to fight a black guy. That's that true, pretty, but I wasn't <laughs> drunk. <laughs> well, like, I had, you had, had been drinking. I had two gin and tonics. Yes. Like I love drunk Blake. Have you guys ever seen drunk Blake? Yes. No. He's yeah, great. Totally not. He's always in a good mood. He yeah, laughs at all of your jokes. He was over here just giggling away when yeah. I threw up on Brandon. He's that was great. Great. Oh my god, <laughs> fuck you for that still. Did you get told that story? Yeah. yeah. Would, that, would that be your stupidest drunk story is throwing up on your friend's head? Yes. No, I... No, uh, I'd probably say Tony's party was... What about Other Tony's Tony. party? Other Tony. Oh, that Tony, yeah, the yeah, party. The one I'm just I, like... I never get to go to. What did he keep saying? I'm working uh, on yeah, it. I'm working working on it. On it. So, what, yeah, when I get drunk and I start getting dizzy, uh, I, I'll just stay still for hours. And, hours. And I'll just say I'm working on it. Uh, <laughs> and when people ask me if I'm fine, over and over again, that's In the, the only same phrase. spot, hours. He's <laughs> just <hours>. sitting there. <laughs> and this is definitely a thing. I've done this. I've done that twice, as far as I know. <laughs> I can well, remember. Buddy said when uh, you guys were all at your house and... Oh, I couldn't move this. Yeah, I've done it three times. Yeah, I've done it three times. This is a pattern. <laughs> he just laid on the couch the entire time. I'm like, Raymond, any help? He's like, working on it. Yeah, because it was at, <laughs> my, it was at my house, and move. Tannen was drunk. My legs aren't working. And Buddy was like, Tannen needs to like be shown a bathroom and like taken to a bathroom. And I was just like, I can't move. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Today. But I, I, I didn't say I'm working on it as much. That not day. one, you're working on it. Yeah, yeah, but the rest was, I just can't move, my body won't let me. <laughs> he was just attached to the couch. Yeah. And then Tan tried to sleep in your bathroom. Yeah, yeah, my parents kicked Twice. him out. See, I'm pretty much the exact opposite of that. I'd <laughs> like to keep moving, because I know that if I stop moving, I'll pass out. Yeah, yeah, because it, it makes you tired as fuck. Yeah, I'm so, so tired. I just try to keep moving as much as I can, like... Just run everywhere, roll down hills and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a thing. I will roll down any fucking hill that I come across that is taller than I am. Nice. <laughs> like lay sideways. Like lay arms sideways, across. arms crossed, and roll down the fucking hill. Nice. And then a lot of times I'll throw up because I get really bad motion sickness right, yeah, and I'm like... already drunk. There was one time Tannen and Tannen and I and uh, Brittany we all went to a bar, and <clears throat> it was. Right after Adria had broken up with me, I got smashed. It was Dollar Long Island night, and oh, I just yeah. kept drinking. And I blacked out before the night was even half. Is that over. when Brittany was paying people's tabs? No. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I should have <laughs> been there for that. It was a different day. But uh, I just re- the last thought I had was it was like my eighth Long Island, and I'm hammered at the bar, like using the bar to prop myself up. And I was like, one more Long Island, please. And the lady just starts pouring it, and I said audibly to her, you should not sell me this. And she goes, honey, if you're paying. And I was like, yeah, you're the best. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently I had another one after that, and I was just like, I, I'm super bubbly too, but I'm really complimentative. Like, I'll just be like, your shirt is super amazing, and your smile's great too. And your personality. Yeah, and He's just opposite and Tony. Yeah. I was, <laughs> thanks. Uh, I was doing that to the bouncers as they made us leave. That's amazing. <laughs> Tannen said they were making us leave because I had started to pass out, like, standing up. Like, I was just, like, starting to <laughs> yeah, fall. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they had to basically carry me out. And I made him take me to every bouncer who had instructed us to leave so I could shake their hand and tell them <laughs> how nice they were. Then we got out, and there's a hill right outside the bar. And I just <laughs> dropped and started rolling. Problem is... Hill ends at a busy road. Yes. And so I was just rolling down the hill, and these people had to stop 
because I was going right. to roll into traffic. You, of course, were. <laughs> yeah. And then I just opened the door to their car. Like, I was going to get in with them. <laughs> <laughs> and they were cool with it. <laughs> like, wow. I was going to be kidnapped. Yeah, like, a, nice like a toddler. I've just, kidnapped somebody before. Yeah, I was just going to, like, like a toddler Ooh. just get into their car. And they're like, oh, that's cool, man, because they're drunk. And then Tannen's like, no. And their driver's like, no, because he wasn't <laughs> drunk. Yeah. And then I drove home, and I threw up everywhere. And it was super black. Like, it took a long time oh, no. to clean it out of the carpet. Nice. <laughs> yeah, because Our- I passed out in front of the bathroom, and they couldn't get me to go the extra three feet before I started <laughs> vomiting <laughs> violently. Move forward, please. <laughs> no. Like I say room? no. Huh? In your room? or No, you know the bathroom downstairs? Yeah. Like, I crawled across, and uh-huh. Tannen, was good. Tannen was done. Brittany had to help me into the house because I passed out on the gravel parking lot Ooh. in my I'm in my driveway. That's amazing. We have gravel, and yeah. I was just laying face down. Ooh. And Brittany, <laughs> Brittany was trying to get me to get up, and I was like, "Just leave me here to die." And Tannen <laughs> said, "Fine," and went inside. <laughs> <laughs> Once Tan gives up on you, you were fucked. Yeah, Tannen's given up on me a couple times. More times than I can count, actually. <laughs> Tannen Great. always deals with me when I'm going through the worst drunks. I stages. still want to meet drunk Tony. I tried to steal That's Tannen's on my gun list one now. time so we could hijack a cop car. I remember that. that <laughs> I, very I specifically. I vaguely remember that too. I got home and Tannen shoved me through my door, <laughs> screamed, Drew, are you home? It's your fucking problem now. <laughs> Slammed the door and left. <laughs> that was the last I heard from Tannen for two weeks. Nice. He was not happy. I still don't know what I said to him. That's almost... That pissed him off so much. What was the recovery two weeks later? Was it just like a, hey, like, sorry? It was It was just, uh, we were both online playing video oh, games. okay, nice. We were just okay. in the same okay. chat. And I was like, are you still mad at me? Yes. <laughs> I think we, w- we went, like, what, two days when we, f- when we fought? And yeah. we got drunk? I fight people. I piss people off when I get drunk. See, for us, though... I yelled at him in a car. When I'm around, it's random black men. When... <laughs> when, <laughs> when, not around. when it's Tannen, No, you that's fight not Tannen. true. He fought Brittany with you. Oh, that's true. Because you, that's when it made you gay. You body slammed Brittany onto the ground. Because you grabbed I... her by the throat and <laughs> threw her to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> because then I got the... I don't... Oh, shit, I do remember that. <laughs> yeah, Why did your, I do that? Your dad had you to talk were, to you. You guys were arguing about something. Because then Brittany was like, if Buddy was here, we wouldn't have argued. None of this would have happened. Blah, 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 blah. But I was like, I think it fucking worked. Fuck you guys. And then <laughs> you Brittany, basically Batista bombed her. <laughs> and then Brittany tried to molest her way into Raimi. <laughs> But, like, not really, though, right? Yo, she hit hard. <laughs> and then I had to be there with your dad telling you it was wrong. Did she punch me, though, or something like that? No, she was coming toward you. <laughs> she just was walking toward <laughs> you. You're, you're <laughs> making it sound like I'm a psycho. <laughs> okay, so, so yeah, you what, I, are. what I heard of it was you guys were already arguing about something. Yes, you I were. I think it was something to do with a girl before there, she even came over. There's there have been like multiple times where because I know the lead up to that was there have been multiple times where we have been drinking and Brittany will just deck me. Like I've had black eyes because like she just get mm-hmm. mad. The, the time she was buying people's drinks, she thought I was doing it too. Are you talking, are you talking yeah. about when we went to um, downtown? When we, yeah, when we went downtown. She thought, because uh, it was three of our friends, our four. previous friends, four of our previous friends, we used to be friends with them, and she bought them all a drink. Is that what previous means? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was curious about I felt, that. I was, <laughs> now I know. <laughs> Curio! I, I included Sorry. previous so you wouldn't get jealous. <laughs> so... They, she bought them all a drink on her tab. Well, they just kept using her tab. Oh, no. And I was one of the people she bought a drink for, but I had my own tab, so I just bought right. my own drinks. Well, she thought that it was all of us, so I come out of the bar, and I turn, and she just clocks me, like, Ooh. straight up. And I shoved her backwards, like, not onto the ground or anything, but I was like, what the shit? And I had a black eye for the next week, and mm. so I don't want people to be like, Tony just gets drunk and power bombs women in the fucking <laughs> <laughs> Don't walk next to him on the street. The whole thing, the whole thing with her buying people's drinks and stuff was because she would like walk over and like go to say something to somebody and then punch their fucking drink. She, yeah. I think she knocked over three drinks that night. And that, was, was the, oh, just, that was the night. Put it on my tab. She almost got me to hook up with a MILF. Yep. 
That lady was also had super like hot. another dude on the other side of her. Yeah, that guy. That chick was hot though. <laughs> At least maybe. Remember. I was drunk. Yeah, drunk Tony thought that. Yeah, thing was hot. she told her that I was a doctor, and then she asked me if I wanted to hook up in the bathroom of the bar. Tony, wow. the MILF did? Yeah. Tony. That's all you gotta um, do is fucking say you're a doctor? No, somebody else has to say you're a doctor. Tony, oh, okay. drunk drunk goggles were on that. Night. Ah, shit. That's all don't we ruin, made. Don't not, ruin not, this for me. Not super bad drunk, but like, <laughs> it was like. Maybe. Probably shouldn't. Like, you dodged. If you wake up to that, it. you might. <laughs> Not like, and then I actually, like a rubber bullet or yeah, something. Yeah, like the bullet was kind of out of your way anyway. But you, got you the jumped, like, and then I accidentally went psycho on my girlfriend that night because I we were texting and then that lady said that and I was I was drunk and I jokingly texted it to my girlfriend for whatever reason because this an idiot. milf said she'd have sex with me in the bathroom. <laughs> no, it was more like oh, Brittany told this milf that I'm a doctor for whatever reason because. Like, I have a girlfriend. I have no idea why she's trying to hook and, me up with this milf. said milf. <laughs> I was drunk, okay? It wasn't the best choice of words. <laughs> this super hot and fucking then she milf. And imme- then she immediately offered. And then I was like, oh my god, she's trying to do. She's trying to hook up with me in the bathroom. Like, then my girlfriend's <laughs> phone died. And I was like, oh god, I'm getting... Like, I, oh, I'm no. drunk. And so oh, I immediately... No. Fast forward to she hates me. She's breaking up with me. I remember that. So I sent her like 26 texts like, I'm so sorry for that joke. It was uncalled for and stupid. I love you. I never hook up with a MILF in a bathroom. (laughs) was literally one of the texts. That's a thing I would never do. (laughs) We tried to take the phone away at one point and that didn't work. Yeah, you can't do that. But she was... Fine, the next day, never said anything. She was oh, just nice. like, cool, I know you wouldn't fuck a MILF in a bathroom. Mm-hmm. It's like, great, I'm super sorry about the 26 texts also. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool, and then you after, do that every week. <laughs> after the bar, we went to Steak and Shake. McDonald's. It was Steak and Shake. Because <laughs> we were still downtown. This was before not we left downtown. Because you and Tan were still mildly drunk. I, I had to I babysit. I a picture of us in front of that. Steak and shake, and we look hammered. And you guys, or, as they're walking by, they're like, "Don't do <laughs> drugs, <laughs> kids." And we look. Handsome. Don't be like us. I'm like, you guys are just drunk. You're not on drugs. Like, no, no, we got to set an example. No, and then they start talking to like a psycho. Again. What concert was that? Was happening? Panic at the Disco. No, different one. That was what there was. <laughs> the other concert. We should just stop relying on your memory. No, when you're pan- drunk. We you get to, the answers. We wrong. went to panic. I'm, I'm drunk. <laughs> We went to panic. There yes. was another concert happening. Rolling Stones. I think Rolling Stones was that same night. I, it was at the it was at the my memory, n- I had a lot to drink. We'll All say of these Rolling stories Stone. I had a lot to drink. Whatever concert was, people were coming from there also going downtown. And so Tan and Tony are just talking to them about their shirts like, we went to panic at the disco. I'm like, guys, please just stop talking to people. They're and like there's a cop in here. Let's go see. I'm like, no, let's not. So then we walk. I got them to leave Steak and Shake. We I went have to a the strange c- interests with cops. Yeah, we went to the convention center because they had to go to the bathroom, and that was the only one we could find. Tannen decides to fall on the ground. <laughs> so as I'm looking at Tannen, I hear and just turn my head to see Tony running with his fucking people's elbow, come flying in. I don't. I'm not violent. I'm not a violent person. <laughs> <laughs> just when he's drunk. Oh yeah, to get back, uh, I believe Brittany did say that she was going to hit you, and then was running towards you, possibly to hit you, and then you slammed her on the ground. <laughs> so, Price is averted. Drunk Tony did try to tell me that I wasn't actually going to do it, that's why I caught you mid-fall onto <laughs> Tannen's face. Yeah, he was actually going to do everything that Drunk Tony says he's going to do. And then Drunk Tony yeah. ran down the rest of the fucking... It was it, a Pokemon convention. convention. Well, like, Tony likes to prove people wrong as it is. Yeah. And My when he's drunk, drunk, and you tell him he oh, can't do something, way, it then it's so like... Much worse. Yeah, then he's like, no, I'll fucking do it. I don't give a shit. I'll, <laughs> I'll do anything you say. I don't care Sober, the consequences. Sober Tony's got a pretty big boner for proving people wrong. Yeah. Drunk Tony's got the largest erection. It became like a really people. easy way for people to sober me up in college. Like, I'd be super drunk in my dorm, and they couldn't get me to go to sleep or, like, be less drunk. My friend would just be like, here's a gallon of water. I, de- I bet you can't chug it all right now. <laughs> And then I'd just start chugging water until I vomited, and then I'd be nice. like, I'd finish the water, and I'd be a little bit hydrated and have a little less alcohol. And I'd pass what do you mean out. a little wow. bit hydrated? You just drink a <laughs> of water because a lot of it oh, comes no. out during the vomit. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> also, my pants usually come off when I'm drunk. I've never seen that. They didn't that day. 
We then went Norm- to- normally is not that, in public. Is that in Tony? Yeah, thing? I was about to say, is that running with Tonys? Our friend Tony, we have a saying that it's not a Tony party until you see him naked. Oh, so doesn't. <laughs> Tony Usually I'll leave my kill? underwear on. No, okay. not Tony. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> cool oh, I've, seen, I, I've only been to one Tony party. I saw him naked. <laughs> <laughs> that was before anybody was even drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, almost when I first got there. <laughs> he was Let's just see, as a uh, character from The Sims. So he was like completely <laughs> naked, and he yeah. had a sign across his body that, that was, was like covering him up. It out. He wasn't wearing the sign, and, and he had like a fucking little like wire made halo for so the that he jewel. Could have the, yeah, <laughs> I did see that. That yeah. was still on. As soon as he walked out to show everybody, <laughs> it falls the apart. sign broke. <laughs> <laughs> and there's his stubby shillelagh. <laughs> he's ripped though. He's a he's a ripped guy. He is big. That's good for him. Yeah, it <laughs> yeah, is. And then, okay, the other naked person story I have was at Blake's uh, graduation party. You've seen oh, Blake yeah, naked? Alan. No, 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 Alan. no, no, no. Another one of Blake's friends. Tech- well, yeah, he was our former roommate. Right, well, uh, inf- okay, so Blake's, like, grandparents were there. And I, th- it was my we graduation party. My entire family was yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, his entire family. We were all <laughs> outside. And we were 90 uh, something. So this guy, his pants were already like sagging down and he wasn't wearing underwear. You could see his he half never of did. his dick. Yeah, he never did. <laughs> you could see half of his dick throughout the night. <laughs> And whatever, he keep pulling him back up. He was super drunk. <laughs> whatever, half a dick, that's normal. <laughs> well, like, it was... Full just... dick's an issue, but half a dick, whatever. <laughs> well, then... We well, always wore short shirts and <laughs> yes. just sagged his pants. It was super easy to see. <laughs> yeah. But uh, then we were outside hacky sacking. <laughs> it was super easy to see. He was asking for us to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we were outside hacky sacking, and everyone's outside. We're all out back. And then Blake just comes up behind him, pulls down his pants, <laughs> just pants his <laughs> And, and the greatest thing about him is that he was so drunk that instead of pulling his pants up right away, he looked around for a second to see if anyone was noticing. Was, well, I, was anyone noticing? I was right, yes. Everybody was well, noticing. I was right in front of him during the exchange, and so I got, like, full force. And then, like, he sits there for a second looking around, and then he's like, oh, yeah, I should probably pull on my pants also. So he does that, and then uh, he goes terrorize Blake. He chased after me, and then he jumped on my back, and then we fell down, and I, I like, both mine and his weight landed on my leg that folded back behind me. Mm. And, I, yeah, it fucking hurt so bad. I thought I broke my leg, and people had to walk me inside. And it was at my graduation <laughs> party. <laughs> Everybody's outside having a good time. And I had to go inside and sit down. <laughs> and uh, then after that, like, uh, him and I got into, like, a ball-tapping competition. And we were always doing this anyway. Yeah, this was, like... Ever since we moved in kind of thing, before this whole, like, this area used to be all three of our room, and it was fucking hilarious, because we just had a big futon mattress on the on the floor, and we all slept there, and, like, one day... <laughs> all three slept on the futon mattress and not the actual... <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Um, well, that's what broke people do. Anyway, True. so, we're laying there, and Blake's trying to reach over and grab his guitar at this point. And he, like, steps over Alan to get it, and he looks down, Alan's got this big fucking smile on his face, like, and immediately you see that look in his leg, his eyes, like, oh no. And Alan just fucking, like, rabbit punches him in the dick, and he drops. This has been a running thing for a long time. Like, you remember back in, like, middle school and high school where it was, like, that was the fun thing to do was <laughs> hit each other in the balls? Well, this yeah. was shortly after that. <laughs> yeah, like, I had been past that point, and I was like, you know what? I don't like getting hit in the nuts anymore. <laughs> it's I've grown out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I ever really enjoyed it. <laughs> but, man, you know what? I love getting to... Decked in the dick. I don't enjoy hitting other people Dicked in the in nuts the enough to get hit in the nuts anymore. Right. Mm-hmm. So I, I was out of that phase, and then <laughs> Alan moved in, and it was like he started it. I'm pretty sure, and then suddenly it was fucking on. So, yeah. 
<laughs> like that was their thing together. Right. Well, well anyway, was... at that party, we started. He ball tapped me or something super hard, and it was like I had just crushed my fucking leg. I'm <laughs> limping around now, <laughs> and like, and he's like, God, incredible pain. <laughs> he's fucking God. And his he's first vulnerable. fucking idea is to punch me in the fucking nuts as hard as he could. <laughs> It'll take pain away from his leg. <laughs> Makes sense. No, he, it's like when when lions see the the weak prey. And they're like, That's the one. He That's can't get away, and then they nut tap it. Right. <laughs> so then, basically, like. I got like no, yeah. super pissed off at that We're... point, and I was like, "No, fuck you, dude. That was uncalled for. I'm leaving." And I, I fucking went inside and I sat down on the couch, and uh, we had like a bag of uh, tangerines. <laughs> so okay. I was, yeah, I was eating great. some. <laughs> bag of tangerines. Yeah, I was eating some. Right. Well, Alan went inside and he like went to take a shower or something. And he got out of the shower, and I had one in my hand, and I was just kind of, like, tossing it. I don't and I was waiting for him. And he walked out of the shower in his towel. Oh, hold, hold on, i got to set this up a little bit more. So, what you know that... Do you know that chair out in the in the uh, sunroom where the cats go out to? Yes. He was in this chair... That used to be in the living room. That used okay. to be in the living room, and it was, like... It was right at that point in the day where you don't need to turn the lights on, but it's getting dark. Right. So he's sitting in yeah. the shadows, tossing his fucking tangerine <laughs> up and down. He had a plan. Yeah, so Alan walks out of our bathroom and walks down the hall, right past the staircase, and he's wearing nothing but a towel. And I'm just, like, tossing this tangerine, and I see him, and I immediately... Boom, and fucking tossed this tangerine and nailed him right in the peck. <laughs> it was like a monkey chuck, too. He did this weird arm rotation was like, that was like, yeah, I don't even know how the fuck he could, like, contort his arm to do that properly, but it was yeah. weird. Added, like, another 50 pounds of torque to the tangerine. <laughs> it was a vicious hit. Like, you you saw the life drain Alan's Alan's eyes. Dropped. He was dead. <laughs> like, you Alan like, died briefly. And after that, he, he was like, okay, truce, truce. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, man. <laughs> you win. <laughs> no more. The gods bless the tangerine. <laughs> <laughs> like, Blake and I, like, we've gotten to a bunch of stupid shit without needing alcohol. Yeah, That's every, true. You know, like our mom jokes that our lives should be a sitcom. Your childhood was betting other kids they couldn't climb a fucking tree. No, only I did that. He did that, but I climbed the tree so that they could know that it was safe. And but then I would still. climb down, and then they would get stuck up there. And then you would leave. <laughs> and we would leave. <laughs> I've been stuck in <laughs> my fair share of trees. trees. We're head friends. <laughs> That's what I did. I just never looked at trees. Well, okay, okay, so like... <laughs> You guys remember how um, axe light? You can light your hand on fire with axe. Yep. Remember that phase? Yeah. So we went through that like any other teenage boy, and we decided to take it up a notch one day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we weren't allowed to go outside for very long or go anywhere outside of our yard because, because you would did, kill would other die. children. <laughs> no, there was no, a no. fucking meth house. There was a meth house, house down. Down. Yeah, yeah the this was. They were worried about us this time. Oh, yeah. okay. And when we were in suburbia, yeah, that fucking people were scared. But so <laughs> the shake kids are out. People, <laughs> people were scared. I'll, I'll get to reasons why, but like, uh, but yeah. So we were bored and we start lighting shit on fire. So we, like, you know, we lit our hands on fire, and we're like, <laughs> wave it out. And then we think, oh, well, let's let our feet on fire and kick at the air. That'll be cool. And then we started lighting, like, like we writing write things on, on the like, table, desk and stuff. And light it, you know, like, back to the future kind of shit. Um, then, <laughs> then we're like, hey, you know what? Let's light our let's ceiling, light the ceiling fan, fan on fire. fire. <laughs> so that we can see a ring of fire. <laughs> It did not go as planned. So Sounds you, cool, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. The idea was awesome. But, like, so we get up there, and we take the ceiling fan, we, we you know, we spray it down, and we light it on fire, and we're giggling to each other, hee, 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 whatever. And, like, we get to that point where we flip the switch to get it to move, and we're like, it's not moving. <laughs> Just staring at it. Like, and we flip it back off, and then flip it back on, and we're like, it's still not moving. Do we pull the cord right? Like, yeah. <laughs> so we didn't register that we didn't pull the cord <laughs> to get it to do that. And so now we're trying to put it out because smoke's coming off of it. So here we are, and I'm the only one that's, like, tall enough that could reach it yeah, at, at that point. So, like, I'm sitting there, like, trying to get it. Just like, fan it with yeah. your hands? No, no, I'm, I'm like, hitting it, 
trying yeah. to hit the we damn thing. We had low ceilings. Oh, yeah, right. we had, yeah, it was like this kind of low. Well, yeah, I was just going based off uh, of the So I would motions. never be allowed to walk in that house. Oh, uh, you, I mean, you could be allowed in there. You Fuck just it. wouldn't like it. Like crouch. Yeah, it would be excuse, awful. Excuse me, guys. Um, but yeah, so I'm sitting there like smacking at this goddamn thing, circling around for a good <laughs> Five to seven minutes. So you got the fan to turn on, but then you didn't turn it off. No, it no, we to... didn't get it to turn on. That's the thing. It never oh. turned on. I was physically oh, smacking it, and it was video. moving. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I was trying to wave it out, because earlier we had lit his dick on fire, and we couldn't get it. Like, you know, I jokingly ball-tapped him, because I was like, I'll get it. And <laughs> yeah. Nice. And then I lit my whole arm on fire at one point. This is after the fan? Probably. Uh, let's just leave that. It'll go out of it. We got it out. <laughs> it's on my arm on fire. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't wave it out. What They say fire, fire with fire. I like both my hands on fire. Put out the fire. <laughs> but yeah, it was, I, my whole arm was on fire and I couldn't get it out. So I smothered it by like body slamming onto my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan breaks his own arm. Got fire out. Got it. And his bed's on fire. He's like, I'll put it out by body slamming onto the weight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, fire yeah, I'm already on fun. fire in the bed. Like, pyromaniacs, borderline. Uh, there was a they're, time... They're living. They got it right. Well, I mean, like... <laughs> like, there was a time when I, I would consider... people's houses down is cool. <laughs> well, like... No, seriously. Um, there was this time... <laughs> seriously? Like, it is. Right, okay. So seriously, our friend Scott... Great. Our friend Scott growing up... I remember up, this story. Yeah. His dad... In him, they always went to um, Pennsylvania because that's where their family's from. It's just where they. On the way life. there is a giant fucking like Firework expo tent. of fireworks. You said Pennsylvania weird. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. That's so. That's a weird way to say. Yeah, it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Keep going. What Pennsylvania? Yeah, it sounds like you're saying Castlevania. It sounds like you're saying Transylvania. Yeah, they're Transylvania. Is that not how everybody says it? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. It's just yeah. Penisvania. Penisvania. Got it. <laughs> Sweet. So they go to Penn's Penisvania. <laughs> this out. And so they always come back with a fuck ton of fireworks. And it, it like truckload. I like not even exaggerating. It's way too much that anybody would ever need. Um, so we kind of stole them. And at this point in time, Tony, uh, not Tony, Scott's house was essentially what our house is to where like people just come and go and, you know, like, we had his garage code, and we would walk in and get a drink and just stay there for a <laughs> while. Leave, like, they yeah. drink, <laughs> suckers. Yeah, Free drink, bitches. <laughs> and uh, so we did this. Granted, I, like, snuck in his house one day to, like, scare the shit out of him. Uh, I'll get to that another time. But so we were over there, and he, he was like, all right, well, I got to eat dinner. So you guys head out. And on the way out, we had snagged, like, everybody had snagged some fireworks and we get out there, and they're like, oh, okay. And, like, Corey, my friend from Friendsburg, reaches down his pants and, like, pulls out this, like, <laughs> big-ass bottle rocket. It was like a fucking, like, Looney Tunes thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was the most ridiculous thing. Like, we all took like, firecrackers and shit. How the fuck did you manage <laughs> that one? And he looks over at us, and he's like, you remember when we were into graffiti? <laughs> yeah, I got pretty good at that. I was like, what does that have to do with stealing shit? <laughs> would, while you guys were doing the graffiti, I would cram things down my pants. <laughs> and see if you noticed. He used to steal Cut paint my house cans. fire hydrants. There's street <laughs> posts. He used to steal paint cans, and that's how he did it. Anyway, so he pulls that Looney Tune shit, and then we're like, oh, dude, let's shoot it at Scott's house. <laughs> Does Scott have a house anymore? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a different one. Is he alive? <laughs> <laughs> um, Previously known as Scott. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're thinking, oh, like, yeah, that'll be funny. We'll hit his house with it, it'll go, Psh, and then let them know that we did it. Um, <laughs> we'll let them know we so did we, it. So we put it in the ground, like, four houses away in some other guy's yard. We didn't know these people. We put it Wait, in their yard. Hold up, your plan was to... Steal someone's fireworks, shoot their fireworks at their house, and then go be like, "We shot your own fireworks at your no, house because we no, stole it." Okay. No, the what? firework hitting their house would that was an send them the message yeah. that it was us. They would know. Oh, yeah, it was like uh, like if we pull a prank on you. Ah, it was me. Okay. That kind of thing. As their house burns, ah, it's just bright and like that. Like, <laughs> so. It was a brick house. It was fine. Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> you guys act like a fucking bottle rocket's gonna light you on fire or something. Yeah. But so it, anyway, we stick it yeah. in the ground and we're God, lighting it and we're like on fire and couldn't get it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So no. <laughs> but incidentally, 
Like Blake said, we we, put we it in stuck the, the fucking bottle rocket in the dirt and pointed it at his house, and we lit it, and we all fucking ran, and fucking we heard it pop, and we we're all giggling, and we we're laughing. laughing. We thought it was funny as fuck. We're like, haha, we did it, guys, right? <laughs> and then like a few hours <laughs> later, we're hanging out, and somebody's like, <laughs> you, you want to say? <laughs> so. One of one of our, our mutual friends comes down the street and is like, hey, you should come over and see this. So we all walk down the street to the yard, and the fire department in half the neighborhood is at that spot. We had we had lit that guy's lawn on fire because the bottle rocket never left. It just <laughs> just <laughs> in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a drought that season, so it lit up. Like, it was done. It was a giant patch of grass that it was no longer grass. And so Kyle comes up to us and he's like, so be honest, was that you guys? <laughs> Knowingly, that it, like we, it was obviously us. And we're like, nah. <laughs> so a couple parents it's come up. Dry. Can't prove anything. <laughs> a couple parents come up to us and start asking questions because, you know, now they're doing a police investigation and shit. And we're like, you know, I think it was that Nick fucker down the street. Like, he's a douche. And <laughs> you all say, yeah. yeah exact same to you know, be fair, she, she immediately sold out. To be fair, this guy lit his own friend on fire, and yeah. that guy had to go to the hospital with like third degree burns. He so still had all of his setup. ceiling fans. <laughs> <laughs> you should have so, just immediately sold out Scott. Be like, I've seen that bottle rocket before. <laughs> Scott has some of those in his house. <laughs> no, Scott. Okay, Scott was the original you. He's the OG Tony. Like, the kid I picked on all the time. I was gonna say, like, this isn't gonna be a good thing, is it? He wants to sell you out, Tony, is what we're asking. I I would believe that you would sell me out. Nah, man. <laughs> no, you both we said love nah, man. You. <laughs> you both nah, said nah, man. Way too quick, actually. <laughs> like, there was, remind me to there never was a day. commit a crime with you guys. <laughs> there was You'll a commit day. a crime next time you get drunk. That's true, yeah. I... I, just, I commit crimes every once in a while. I have to get you drunk and find a policeman. <laughs> or a black guy. Or literally just tell me to commit the crime. Yeah. I'm oh, surprised okay. I still you gay bar downtown. Wait, edit out the part where I said that. Name, yeah, okay. Because I don't want to. I don't want them to ever hear this and not let me back in. Because we'll say it's my favorite bar. Really? Um, gay bar? Stop saying the name! <laughs> <laughs> just bleep, bleep it out, out every I'll time you say it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's like. It's my favorite bar downtown. So every time I go there, I do something stupid that should probably warrant me never being oh, allowed I back. Oh, I know what story this is. Like, I, I steal dishes for no reason, even <laughs> if I haven't ordered food. Like, I'll just take the dish and leave from someone else's, like, table or from, nice. like, the bar. Do you keep those? Yeah. Nice, that's cool. Yeah. It's like a souvenir. Or, like, I'll just shatter glasses, sometimes on accident, sometimes because somebody yeah. was, like... I, one time it was an accident, and the other time was like, hey, remember the last time we were in here and you shattered that glass? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, hope you don't do it this time. And I was like, Psh, <laughs> threw it on the fucking ground. I'll have another. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, too. <laughs> but the time that started all of my petty crime there was New Year's Eve. And there's this picture yep. on the back wall uh, of a baseball stadium. Like, I... I was drunk. I have no idea what the baseball stadium is, why it's there. It's black and white. It looks real cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were standing by it, and the picture is, like, glued onto the wall. <laughs> and my friend was like, that looks... The walls are, like, uneven paneling, I guess, where, it, like, it starts... <laughs> oh, okay, there. okay, okay. Yeah. And so they're like, how is that picture hanging there like that? It, it should, like, be slanted or something. And I go... It's glued onto the wall. <laughs> and then, Tannen was the one that's like, it's not glued onto the wall. You can just take it off. And Austin goes, no, you cannot take it off. And I said, bet. <laughs> and I grabbed it and pulled as hard as I could. And I was grabbing on both sides. And all of a sudden, my hands were crossed. Oh. <laughs> and I was covered in glass. Oh, I just no. shattered the frame and all the glass. And it was everywhere. Somehow didn't get cut. Like, didn't cut any of my hand or my arm or everything. I was covered in glass, brushed that off, still didn't cut myself. It may have been fake glass. Austin picks up the glass, I chug my drink, and then we grab what we think is the picture and run. 
Just run out of the bar. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> and Rachel goes and gets another drink. <laughs> nice. For some reason. So wait, did you not awesome. pay for your stuff? We had already paid. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, like, we, so we got our grab? drink at the bar, uh, and dr- we were drinking it, so I don't want people to think we didn't pay. Like, what, what, right, right, right. Piece of shit. <laughs> what did I you grab? I just smash their plates and steal them and shit. <laughs> but... And so Austin and I run to the next bar and order beer, and I pull out my treasure, my new baseball stadium, and it was the <laughs> the picture that's in the back of frames when they sell them to you, like that shows you the dimensions of the frame and has like some shitty stock. Was photo. it really? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what happened to the baseball picture, but that's what I grabbed. <laughs> the ba- <laughs> I grabbed the behind picture that the baseball photo the was base- covering. Do you the still- baseball photo was the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you still have the behind picture? I do. It might, it might have been the glass if it's black and white. That makes sense. I hope not. I'd feel bad. You, you should feel bad baseball. anyway. <laughs> I did. I have did. You, I did okay. feel bad. Back there? Huh? Have you been back there? Yeah, a lot of times. Do you still have favorite now? bar? Huh? What's there now in that spot? Good question. question. <laughs> oh, they never replaced it. They were too no, sad. They were devastated there were two by the pictures, loss. and now we always go back to check, and there's just the one picture on the bottom, and the wall Oof. looks super off. <laughs> They're waiting Oof. for you to bring it back. Yeah, I felt really bad about that one. Were you just uh, gently probably. tapping Buddy's crotch <laughs> with was. the base of the... <laughs> I noticed that, too. I, like, heard the tapping. <laughs> yeah, I was just, like... just gently tapping his <laughs> dick. 